Hello and welcome to Off Grid Solitude. My name is Joe and I bought five acres of raw land in the high desert of Arizona and I am building an off grid homestead. And today I wanted to talk about my chickens. I bought my chickens in early March. Uh, I bought them at uh, Tractor Supply. But um, that time of year and that year in particular, everybody was out of stock. So I took what I could get. And although it was limited supplies, I'm pretty happy with what I got. The Buff Orpingtons are nice dual purpose birds. They're big for meat if that's what you want, but they also lay about 200 to 250 eggs a year. They lay uh, light brown eggs. Out of the four birds, I ended up with one rooster, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm pretty happy about that. The well bar chickens are sexed. The female chicks have a black stripe on them and the males don't. So it's easy to separate them when they're young. Not sure if that trait breeds true for the next generation. So I'm not sure if I can rely on that when new chicks hatch from my batch here, but we'll have to find out. The well bar are a little smaller, but they still lay 200 to 250 eggs a year. But their eggs are a little bit darker brown. Very lovely color, I like it. Uh, a smaller chicken that still lays lots of large eggs is a good thing because I think it eats less food. Uh, common wisdom is to keep the chicks indoor until their adult feathers come in. Uh, that might be, what, about six weeks or so. For around here, I think that's probably too long. Chickens are very messy and very smelly, and they need a lot of room. Every week or so, I would have to expand the uh, area they were allowed to roam in. I did wait the full six weeks or so until all their feathers were in, and I put them outside. That first night, they all huddled together right in the corner of the fence. Some predator came by and uh, pulled the heads off of three of them. But it was the chicks I was worried about anyway. Uh, one of them was much smaller than all the others. And another one kept, I guess, self-plucking his own feathers. Um, something wasn't right with him. The other chicks didn't like him. In my opinion, I think the other chickens kind of uh, threw them to the wolves, as they say. But some people get upset when I tell them that theory, so I won't say it. <laughs> the chicks did go into their coop to sleep at night after a few days. I rounded them up and put them inside the coop every night. I don't know if that helped or not. I don't know if they learned the lesson or they would have went in on their own. It's hard, to, really hard to tell with chickens. I had about six weeks from when I bought the chicks to when I needed the coop ready. So that was a little bit more time to build it right. I was able to level the ground 12 inches off of one side. And I just placed posts every four feet. And the design is basically just a fence again. I've got a double layer of fencing. I've got a thicker sheep wire to keep out the bigger predators and a smaller poultry netting to keep out the smaller predators and to keep in my chickens. And of course, I ran along the ground about a foot to keep anything from digging underneath. Ooh, that sun is bright. <laughs> I screwed some plywood to the fence posts on one side. And this is a basic structure for my coop. This provides shelter from the sun, the wind, and the rain. I've got a couple sheets of plywood strung up horizontally for the bottom and the top of the coop. Ow! I've got it about 18 inches tall. Uh, that gives the chickens a little place to hide if they need it. Only in severe weather or when they're very frightened do they go under there. But sometimes they dig little holes and cool off. I think they enjoy it. <laughs> I've got a couple of posts for them to play on, a board for them to come in. The back and sides are the sheets of plywood I showed you tacked up just to the outside of the fence. And this front is just screwed off. It comes off for easy cleaning. For roosts, I just used two by three inch beams. As you can see, they're about 12 inches off the ground. And for nest boxes, I just have three 12 inch by 12 inch uh, cubes. 
I slope the top so the chickens won't sit on top and poop all over, but I'm not sure you have to worry about that if it's more trouble. I cut a door into the front and just put a little hinge on it with a clasp so I can have easy access to the eggs. The chickens hate bedding. They remove it immediately. The eggs were cracking at first when they hit the plywood. Uh, I don't know if that was just immature birds or, or the plywood is too hard. So I bought those rubber mats. Uh, the hens seem to like it. They work great. I feed my chickens layer feed. I don't have any special food for the rooster. He seems to be doing fine. <laughs> he might be getting too much calcium, but he seems okay. I also feed them whatever else I can find. Uh, they eat bugs, and um, if I catch a big old centipede or something, I'll throw it in there, or sometimes a mouse. They eat almost anything. And I find compared to other animals, chickens drink a lot of water. I've tried fermenting my chicken feed, and the chickens do seem to like it, and they do eat less of it, but I usually forget to do it ahead of time. So I just mix my feed with water, and that seems to help. They eat less, and they're less messy when they eat it. They don't kick it around as much. At about five months old, a few of the hens started laying eggs, but some of them took six months. So the first one started laying, and the others slowly joined in. I put up a sunshade to block the sun, but still let the air flow. Uh, that's important out here. Eventually, I'll build a stronger roof to give them even more shade, uh, as well as to catch water when it rains. But for now, uh, this is fine. I have some poultry netting strung across the top that keeps out flying predators and anything that can climb. And I have the sunshade underneath that, which gives the chickens enough shade. Just as a little side note, a fresh egg cannot be peeled. I don't care what anybody says. And it doesn't matter how you cook it, it can't be peeled. I find the egg has to be about three days old before you can peel it. But uh, straight out of the chicken, no way. <laughs> It's all a very simple design. It's very low maintenance. I believe in letting chickens be chickens. They know how to take care of themselves. So I just provide food, water, and shelter. And I collect the eggs when they're ready. But beyond that, I let them do what they do best. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. As always, I appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. And I'll see you in the next video.